I'm the Anglo Librarian and I've just finished reading Pierre Boulet's The Bridge on the River Kwai. The book follows a group of POWs and the hardships they suffer during their time at a Japanese work camp during World War II. And basically they're forced to build a bridge on the River Kwai, which is deemed the most important part of the new Burma Siam Railway. As the plot progresses, the plucky Brits, who are led by Colonel Nicholson, are pretty much worked to death and then receive regularly vicious beatings from camp leader Colonel Sato. Nicholson, though, is having none of this, and with some stiff upper lip and what I can only assume to be a massive pair of balls, stands up to Colonel Sato, demanding that his men be treated better. And once this is agreed upon, he sets out to build the best goddamn bridge you ever did see. Now, some of you out there in YouTube land, and by some I of course mean you, my one avid viewer, you may be thinking that this book clearly exists to hammer home the sheer brutality and horrors of war. To remind us all that war is bad, that it's deplorable. If war were a small child, it would surely be found sitting on the naughty step. But you're wrong. I hate to tell you this, my one and only fan, but you're wrong. Because it's clear to me that when writing this novel, Mr Boulay was in fact warning us of the horrors of travelling abroad. If Colonel Nicholson and his men had just stayed in good old Blighty, then none of this would have happened. His men dead or dying from thirst and starvation, diseases running rampant, the already mentioned brutal beatings, skin cancer from hours toiling under the red hot sun without using factor whatever it is we use these days. Not in England, not on the Queen's watch. We may mourn about the constant rain and cloudy skies, but it's their for our own protection. I mean, why even risk certain death by travelling abroad when we've got beaches right here? Have you been to Blackpool? You have. Oh, well have you been to Cornwall? Go and get yourself a bag of fish and chips from Whitby, or a stick of rock from Scarborough, or heck, go to Southend and get some crabs. Probably best to skip that last one, you'll be scratching for weeks. Um, <clears throat> so I've been told. And it's not just this book that warns of the perils of holidaying, I too know those perils. I almost died in France. Don't go rolling your eyes at me, YouTube companion, I speak nothing but the truth, so help me Chuck Norris. Hey, if you're going to pray to something, you may as well pray to something that you know for sure exists and can kill you in an instant. It'd be an honour, my bearded master. But yeah, in France, me and death became this close to becoming BFFs. I'd landed in France, got attached to the hotel, checked myself into my room and decided to go freshen up. And that's when the shower struck. It waited till I was naked, till I was at my most vulnerable. The fact that it's generally accepted that being naked is an essential part to having a shower makes this fact no less horrific. It waited till I was at my most vulnerable and then it struck. I'm not kidding, it literally struck me. I turned the shower on and it threw itself at me. The shower head struck me in the face, causing me to stumble backwards. And then I was falling, falling in slow motion, while someone somewhere was playing music from the film Psycho. And then I died. So yeah, that's my warning. Don't leave the country. Get a nice caravan or something. And I know that right now there are some of you there that are saying, Craig, you're not dead. Because if you were, there would be no way in hell that you could be stood there filming a video telling us about how you died. Well, I've got one thing to say to you. Prove it. For all you know, I'm a ghost. One with so much free time that I've decided to become a YouTube star. It's a work in progress. Alive or dead, the message remains the same. Holidaying can be lethal. If you've any sense at all, you'll take my ramblings to heart and you'll read a copy of The Bridge on the River Kwai. Or you could watch the film, both work just as well. Message is the same. After watching this video, I hope that you'll go and do the right thing, the sensible thing, and holiday in your own country. Support your local tourism sectors. Or you can just ignore everything that I've said and you can go abroad anyway. I mean, it's going to be your funeral. Well, more than likely it's going to be your funeral. But I'll tell you this for sure, there is no way in hell that I am ever going abroad again. It's all doom and gloom and pain and suffering. I wouldn't go for all the tea in Tesco's. Although there is something to be said about riding the metro in Paris at rush hour. It was pretty cramped and it left me with no choice at all but to press myself right up against a rather handsome man. Those 20 minutes were heaven. But it still doesn't justify the certain death holidaying presents, no matter how nice of an arse he had. <laughs> Who the hell am I kidding? It totally justifies it. Happy travelling!